Well, you'll notice that I'm outside because the garage, so it's worked up, it's still a kit. But it is a relatively nice day and I've got stuff to do. So today we're going to build a floating desk for the office. Essentially the design for this desk is just a simple box. Uh, I'm just pilot drilling the holes for the screws just so I ensure they're exactly the same on both sides and everything is square and rigid. Once I finished the frame, I took it upstairs for a test fit just to make sure it's the right size. Just checking the size of the frame with the size of what I thought was going to be the bottom. Due to some changes in the design, it turned out to be the first layer of the top. I'll start by putting a screw in each corner and then evenly spacing them around the box. I plan to have some cross beams inside the box for additional support, so I'm just sawing them up now. I marked them out a little bit bigger than I needed them, uh, just because I wanted a really nice tight fit. That didn't turn out to be the case at all, and you'll see why in a minute. So I said I cut them a little bit bigger than I needed to, and I did, with the intention of trimming them on a table saw. But as I've said many times before, the fence on this table saw is the worst thing in the world. It moves when it shouldn't. You can't always tell when you're cutting, especially when you're cutting a really thin strip. Uh, and I did that here, leaving these beams about half a centimetre too short. I made it work, but it wasn't ideal. On another note, if you've got any suggestions for making a better table saw fence, put them in the comments below. Here's the frame finished with the support beams and the top slash bottom. I made them work, but it doesn't look as good as it should have from underneath. Time for nobody's favourite job, sanding. Started at 60 grit, went up to 120, and then finished at 240. Um, just a really quick sanding. It didn't need a lot, it was already pretty smooth, machined, milled wood anyway. Painting is another job I personally dislike, um, just find it really, really time consuming. I'm using some Ron's Hill anti-mould paint, just because it was what I had and I didn't want to spend any more than I already had on this build. I did two coats because I thought this was going to be the bottom, um, I was going to do three on the top. And here it is, after two solid coats. Finally reached my favourite part of any build, rounding over. I had to drag the router all the way from the garage to the front of the house to out the back of the conservatory, which wasn't much fun, 
and as it turned out, Neva was putting a round over on a board over 2100mm in length. Um, it took me a while, but I got there in the end. I then proceeded to put three coats of paint on this as planned. So I'm sat here editing this now, um, and I've just realised I need to put a bit in about the changes I have to make. Uh, what I didn't check before I started the build was whether the wall could take the weight of this desk. And it happened. Two of the three contact walls were just drywall, plasterboard stuff. And even if they could have taken the desk's weight, they never would have been able to take it with all the stuff on board. Yeah. So I had to make some changes. I had to do a trip to B and Q at 8 pm to get some more timber to make some legs. So here I am sawing the legs 9 pm at night. I take the two pieces of timber together just so I know that they're going to be exactly the same length. Did this twice, um, just high enough to get above my radiator. And here's the finished desk. If I was going to do it again, there's a ton of stuff I'd change. Um, namely the fact it's too high because it has to sit above the radiator but had I known it was going to have legs um, it didn't need to be as long as this and it could have sat next to the radiator and been a bit lower here it is in full use with all my stuff on it as always thanks for watching like, share, subscribe all that jazz and I'll see you again soon